What's the crack lads? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we are taking a quick look at the weekly content. And yeah, we will be doing another video on this where we go into kind of what I want to see for V4 and stuff. We have a few details coming soon. But also we have a new uh, Patrick Vieira. Finally, this guy has been on the database for, for months really. Um, we have Burkham, Borazicki and Vieira. Now I do have Vieira, so I don't know will I spin for him, but I will be doing a review on him. I mean, he is probably, in my opinion, he's probably going to be the best DMF in the game, uh, apart from one or two. I mean, he's got excellent base stats in everything, really, with 30 levels to go. It's 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 going to be insane. And he plays, he just plays way above his stats and his size, everything. We will do a full review on them as well. But in terms of the actual events and in terms of other stuff coming on, we do have a bit of news um, regarding a couple of other bits and pieces. So they do mention V2.4. Um, and they talk about, you know, just spending confirmation messages. We don't have any roadmap yet. I would be, if I was, if I was kind of predicting stuff, I reckon we're going to get a lot of information within the next four weeks. I reckon we'll get a ton of stuff, uh, coming. And when I say a ton of stuff, I mean, just plans and, uh, you know, actually telling us, okay, this is when it, this is coming. This is when that's coming. Um, I think we'll get a gameplay update. I think they'll tweak a couple of things before, they kind of launch into the next phase of eFootball itself. Um, but from here, they say from V2.4 onwards, uh, we will be changing the alert messages displayed when spending GP e uh, coins and other items. So basically, that messages that used to appear after the payment confirmation alert will no longer be displayed. So it's just a tiny little thing. Um, and they also talk about the matchmaking in this. Previously, we announced that during the maintenance, we will be sending 10,000 as a token of apology. They say that they'll also be sending the users account, users that created the account after that, um, another 10,000. So you can just claim that as well. So we have got that claimed here. There's the apology. And then we also have all of our login bonuses there as well that we have got from uh, logging in with the new campaign, right? So obviously then with the events, we'll get to everything there going forward. Uh, with the authentic match, there is nothing in events this week again. But in the Dream Team, obviously, we do have the events here, which are the rinse and repeat events. We've got the national team from uh, a few days ago, from Monday. And we have the English League, where you get your 50 coins. Uh, and all you have to do is get your matches there and get your uh, points. And then we also have this English League here, where you get your free uh, spin at the Player of the Week. And then, of course, we do have the one that was there as well. Now, the eFootball League... That, as far as I know, has been reset. So I didn't actually play any of Divisions in uh, the last live data update. I just didn't have time and I was concentrating on other stuff. Um, so I will be giving that a bang. This time we will be going in and uh, trying to see if we can get back up to Divisions. Um, and just, yeah, I mean, we are going to be starting in Division 6. So I think the I think the League, man, is kind of, it needs a big, a big, uh, a big bit of... Um, a boost because it's kind of boring at the moment with what to play and stuff then into contracts as i already mentioned we do have patrick vieira there with the arsenal epic uh card and we also have burkamp and rosicky we will be taking a closer look at their cards in a little bit we also do have the worldwide february 9th uh player of the weeks so yeah i mean again these have been disappointing the last few weeks i would say but there is a couple of nice players in here if you've missed out or if you are a newcomer. I mean, what people seem to forget, man, is that there is thousands and thousands and thousands of new players every day. So for us, who have been with the game from September, or been with the game since, you know, when it first launched, or been with the game since January uh, last year, or this year, or whenever we jumped on to the actual game, for us long, long, long-term players, we'll have seen five or six versions of these players. You know, Jordi Alba, Mario, uh, Kingsley. I mean, we'll have seen all of these players that have been rinsed and repeated like for weeks and weeks and weeks in terms of like, this is probably the fourth or fifth time there's been this version of Coleman or a very, very similar version of Coleman there. So like for us, it's obviously repeated content, but for newcomers, it's a chance for them to sign players and... Yeah, I think it's just kind of, it's just an odd one at the moment because the game is actually benefiting, um, you know, there isn't really anything to do for the long, long, long-term player that doesn't want to be a Division 1, you know, like, esports player. Like, that's kind of where the game is at. If you're a newcomer, it's really exciting to build your squad and to start, you know, going up to Divisions. You get the first 25 hours of eFootball are great. But I think after that then is where you need to, you know, the retention needs to come in. 
Everything else is kind of still the same. We don't have anything new um, apart from like a couple of the objectives and stuff, which are still tied to uh, your career. Um, they're just career ones. And then we also have these ones as well here that are just the match pass ones. So obviously the match pass is going to be resetting uh, on the 16th of February. So that is it, lads, for your weekly roundup. Let me know what your thoughts are. Obviously, we have a couple of more bits and pieces here in our inbox from the E-League. Um, but let me know what you guys think, because obviously there is a bit of a kind of a lull at the moment, I think, you know, for long term players. And I think that that's that's the biggest problem that they need to solve, because you're always going to have a conveyor belt of guys downloading it, trying it, you know, like it, it's similar to like like me or maybe one of you guys listening that, you know, the free games that come on PlayStation Plus, you might give it a download, you might play it for an hour, then you might go away from it, you might come back to it or you might not come back to it. But it's the players that are actually, you know, the, the user base. I just think at the moment, there's kind of a little bit of a lull there. So the kickoff campaign, that is still going on. That ends in three days uh, if you haven't done that. And then there'll be a new one there. But yeah, let's see what happens, man. Because look, I think we are going to be due an upgrade, an update. Because I think if you look at even some of the club icons and stuff, um, in a week's time, we probably will get a bit of information on what's coming because these are going to be gone um so yeah let me know what you guys think just a short and sweet video and i will talk to you in a bit let me know your thoughts are you disappointed are you still enjoying it are you you know at a kind of a point where you're you're not playing it as much or you're playing it and loving it let me know in the comments below lads and don't forget to get involved in my goal of the week and fail of the week series as well some absolute bangers being sent to me so that's going to be a bit of a laugh and uh yeah we will talk to you in a bit peace